Good morning, friends and fellow traders. This is Doug Campbell with Right Way Options, and this is the Morning Market Prep video for January 19th, 2022. Boy, yesterday those bears really went to work, coming out in force, pushing us down and actually confirming downtrends in all four of the indexes. So what does that mean for today? Well, how about we settle in, let's buckle up, Let's get ready for the Wednesday edition of the Morning Market Prep video. Good morning once again, everyone, and thank you so much for being here. I do truly appreciate it. Um, yesterday was probably a little bit challenging for a lot of folks in the market, particularly if you um, were buying things up last Friday. A little bit on the painful side here as we stretch down. Now the diamonds has now confirmed a downtrend with a lower high and a lower low in that market. And we broke down through some important levels of support in the chart. However, we still have other levels of support here to be watchful of and I should redraw that that really needs to draw from clear over here as you can see that's a pretty substantial break in that support um, we've also broken down through this upside trend so we've got a little bit of a problem going on here in our market any rally back let's watch these resistance levels in the chart as we start rallying back up and i think we will start to see a relief rally anytime soon um, it all depends on how these earnings continue to roll out. That mix of earnings results is starting to also weigh just a bit on the market um, and maybe shaking confidence of um, traders that have kind of been wild speculation traders and just diving in all the time, even on any little pullback, surging the market back up. They may be running into a little bit more hesitation here as these earnings results come out rather mixed um, so far this season. So let's watch this closely as we push back up into these resistance levels in the chart. I will show you one of the internals is suggesting a relief rally should um, um, start at any time. But as we push back up, there may be that hesitancy out there um, to get too aggressive. Now, keep in mind also, we have some geopolitical concerns that could derail anything at any moment i don't think you would have to be i don't think too many people would be very surprised anyway if we hear of um, an invasion of the ukraine by russia really at any moment there certainly is a lot of tension over there a lot of pressure and if that were to occur we could expect some negative market impacts as a result of that so just kind of keep that in the back of your mind um, being being um well this is probably not the best time to be aggressive um in the market because we're likely to see extreme volatility around these earnings and then these geopolitical concerns um continuing to cause problems as well as those bond yields continuing to push up here this morning so let's take a look at the spy spy if we um, take a look at that, uh, get, once again, we have a lower low f um, in the chart followed, I mean, excuse me, a lower high followed by a lower low, which would suggest that we have um, a downtrend or confirm that downtrend here in the market. So um, that is um, starting to raise some concerns as all four of our indexes are now showing um, that kind of downtrending pattern. And we've broken down through these levels of price support in the chart. However, we still have a pretty substantial level of price support right in here on that SPY. So if we can hold in this area, um, there is that possibility we start to get that little bit of a relief rally back to test some of these resistance levels in the chart. But I would caution everyone to uh, be watching very closely as we approach these levels and these um, downtrend levels in these charts. That's where the bears could be um, lined up and they may start to get just a little bit more on the feisty side um, in this market um, if these earnings continue to come out at the mixed rate they have so far. 
far. So watch that closely. Once again, if we were to fail down through this area, that could be critical here for the SPY. So if um, we can hold in this area, that would be very important for that little bit of relief to come into the market. And then let's take a look at the QQQ. QQQ has already um, really shaken out a lot of those um, weak hands in the market. And as you can see, pushing down lower high, lower low um, in um, the NASDAQ and breaking this very um, important level of price support in the chart. So we'll have to keep an eye on this. Now I will say that I think the NASDAQ is in a short-term oversold condition. But having said that, I also see that the 200-day moving average is doggone close. And it would not be out of the question here with bonds continuing, bond yields continuing to rise to see the QQQ test this before we really start making any major moves back to the upside. So any rally up, watch for that potential that we could still seek out that 200 day moving average as we move forward. So kind of a bearish look here right now on the NASDAQ and uh, probably a little bit shocking to a lot of folks that kind of thought um, tech could do no wrong. Um, and um, could have no problems, um, but we have um, so over um, over uh, evaluated these tech companies. Uh, it's one of the reasons they're uh, suffering so much punishment right now. So be kind of careful here. And then if we take a look at IWM, the Russell also running into some problems yesterday. And notice that if I were to drop a nice straight line across here, we broke this year long price support yesterday in um, the Russell. Um, and we are, we are in a short-term oversold condition, so we could maybe expect a rally back, but we're going to wanna to be paying attention to that resistance level as we rally back. And then of course, any of these resistance levels above um, um, will be something to pay attention to. Keep in mind the downtrend that we show here in the chart, and then also keep in mind that we have now officially entered a death cross here in the IWM with the 50 crossing down through the 200 day moving average. So not a good look for the IWM. Um, let's take a look at our VIX. Now, one thing I, I mentioned yesterday to the folks in um, Rightway Options is I was a little bit surprised um, as we kept pushing and pushing and pushing to the downside yesterday that we really didn't experience any major panic yesterday afternoon and see that selling come in strong. As a matter of fact, we had a little bit of a rally before we turned back lower at the end of the day. So there really wasn't a major panic um, after that initial sell-off yesterday. So let's take a look here in the VIX. Now, although we have an elevated VIX, notice it's not terribly elevated. We're up here around the 20 handle. Um, and anytime we're above that 20 handle, we are um, we have support level underneath that um, in the chart. So what we want to do is if we start catching a relief rally, watch this pull back and see if that can pull back enough to get break down, back down below that 20 handle. Unfortunately, we will have to keep in mind that we have this bit of an uptrend here. So if we get another shock in the market, that's where real selling could begin. So make sure you're planning your trades very, very carefully. And you know, make sure you're giving due respect to the price volatility of this market. These are big point moves that we're seeing in the market, making it very, very dangerous. And every time we have volatility like this, you have to look, even if you find the best looking chart that you've ever seen, you have to understand that your odds of winning in that trade may be lower because of the big whip that we're seeing in this market, the big point moves back and forth. Your odds of of winning may be less. So make sure you're planning your trading accordingly with this volatility being high. And I suspect volatility will remain high um, throughout the next few weeks as we sort out these earnings results from companies. So be kind of careful. And then if we take a look at our T2122, 
T2122 gives us the best hope that we should see a relief rally. At one point yesterday at the, at the uh, low point of our selling, our T2122 indicator had ticked down below uh, that green line there, pushing us into that bullish reversal zone. And then we had that little bit of relief rally and then sell off right at the end of the day and didn't quite get us back down to those lows. So we're down here in a point where we could easily see that reversal back to the upside. We get that relief rally in here and start pushing back up. Hopefully it's not the all or nothing relief rally that we've seen here lately where everybody just piles in and we just shoot up to the upside. Because when we do that, that creates um, that high risk of that reversal back down. And as we roll out earnings, there's going to be a lot of hops and pops, I think, in this market. So be kind of careful. Now, if we can get that relief rally going, let's watch that carefully. Um, volatility is likely to remain high, which means danger in these stocks is going to remain elevated for a period of time until we can start to calm down this all or nothing swing in the market. Market. Now, I have to tell you, this is very reminiscent of the 2008 sell-off. In the 2008 sell-off, we had a period of very wild volatility, big point moves um, over the course of, of a month or more, and then the real selling really started to set in. Now, hopefully that is not the case here, and hopefully earnings can help us out here on that, but you're going to want to watch this closely if, um, if these whipsaws continue to occur. Let's take a look at that T2108. Now T2108 suffered a little damage yesterday and as you uh, know I've been talking about well there's a little bit of hopefulness in this chart but notice we kind of broke down some of that support yesterday um, breaking that back lower 36 37 percent of our stocks above the 40-day moving average and uh, you know less and less support um, in the market um, from those stocks and making those those breaks to the to new highs and then our 20 t2107 very much the same um we we broke um some of that support that we were kind of talking about well there's a little bit of hopefulness in here um you can see we kind of broke that back down we're continuing to follow this downtrend um uh, the number of stocks um, above its uh 200 day moving average about 37 percent um, that makes for a very difficult situation in the market, uh, particularly if earnings continue to show that mix and that uncertainty out there for us. One thing that was relatively surprising was T2101 with such a big sell-off yesterday. Um, and, and this also leans to that side of a little bit of a bullish um, rally starting to happen. And that is that T2101, the market breadth. Boy, we're down here scraping the bottom of the barrel here in the market. Now, what that may be showing us is momentum is starting to die off here um, in the market. And we may start losing some of these big swings here soon if we continue to see T2101, this lethargic um, um, in um, that chart. So watch that carefully. That momentum seems to be struggling here just a little bit. And I think what's happening is, is all of the really high speculation traders have been damaged so heavily in the last month. Their aggressiveness is, well, it, it, whether they even have their accounts um, left, if they have burned their accounts up in this wild volatility, um, there's probably going to be less aggressiveness in the, um, the pushback to the upside. So be kind of careful. And then let's take a look at our economic calendar for today. Our economic calendar, we do have a few things that we're going to want to be paying attention to um, this morning. We've got um, these housing starts coming out here this morning. And boy, I tell you, hopefully they come in a little bit better than we saw on some of those numbers yesterday. That Empire State Manufacturing number was horrific um, yesterday. Um, let me show you here. The Ocano Day consensus had this at a relatively high number. They were looking, the prior was 31.9. They were looking for a 26 and it came in at a negative 0.7. What a, I mean, that is, um, that is an astounding um, decline 
in those manufacturing numbers. So hopefully they do a better job here on the housing um, number here today and we don't miss um, so terribly on that. Notice that we are looking for a little bit of decline in those housing um, starts and permits and that would be normal um, just simply because we have seen mortgage applications decline and a rising interest rate possibility um, starting to slow down that housing sector so watch that close and I do think it might be a good idea to keep a close eye on this 20-year bond auction today um, at 1 p.m. Eastern um, with bonds rising as they are, that could be an interesting auction to uh, to keep a close eye on. Could have a market market effect here today, so watch that close. And then let's take a look at our earnings calendar. We have a busy day on the earnings calendar today with quite a few earnings rolling out this morning um, and quite a few yet this afternoon. So let's take a look at some of those notables. We've got about 40 companies on the list and most of those are confirmed reports. Um, we're gonna hear from United Healthcare today. Looks like we're getting a little pop and drop in that pre-market candle here. Um, on that report, we're gonna hear from Alcoa. We're gonna hear from BAC. Bank of America, looks like we got a little bullishness there in BAC this morning. And we're gonna have Morgan Stanley. Looks like Morgan Stanley's trying to have a little bit of bullishness here this morning. We're gonna hear from PacWest. We're gonna hear from Procter & Gamble today. So keep an eye on all of these. We're gonna get a lot of movement potentially on these earnings reports. We've got Fastenal in there. We've got U.S. Bancorp. Ooh, there's a there's a there's a mess apparently in uh, from USB. So we're getting this mix of um, earnings results here in the market, and that mix of earnings results could mean that even if we if a company beats on earnings, they could get a lackluster uh, performance out of that beat, um, just simply because our stocks are so elevated in prices. So watch that closely. Um, it could be challenging here for the market with so many so much of a mix of results here in trading so keep a close eye on that if you want to catch the full list of notables make sure you click the link just below the title of the video that will take you back to the morning blog where you can get that full list so with that everyone let's take a look um, at some stocks that could be setting up for today but before we do that guys if you could do me that quick favor if this is the first time you've seen these videos if you could please click that subscribe button on YouTube and then also click that bell icon when it pops up so you'll be notified every time I post one of these videos and I know I these videos are different there's no hype in here there's no prediction but I got to tell you guys the the members of right way options we have been profiting dramatically um, in this market here um, because we are avoiding that hype and we're avoiding that prediction and we're just trading the charts and if you guys find this stuff to be useful to you if you find this information be helpful you can do me a favor here by clicking that thumbs up button leaving a brief comment that continues to help the channel to grow and if you want to support the channel if you're not a member of hit run candlesticks and right way options you have that opportunity to support this kind of content with the link just below the title of the video for the buy me a coffee and I use all of those funds to just roll back in here to create a more content free content for folks out there um, in trading so thank you so much for everyone who does support the channel that way and I apologize yesterday I was so busy I didn't get a chance to answer comments but I will be back on the job here this morning let's take a look at um, the stocks setting up and please keep in mind guys these are not necessarily recommendations to buy or sell any security as a matter of fact make sure you're doing your own due diligence make sure you're paying very very close attention to the risk of this market and how you may want to approach that follow your rules never blindly follow someone else's trade ideas I got to tell you there's a mix of ideas here today a mix of things that we're going to have to be a little bit careful with first off 
let's take a look at a couple of the bullish um, charts out there that I think are looking pretty darn good. Take a look at FCX. Now, FCX has been um, moving up here. Copper is going to be an interesting story with all of the EV vehicles being created and um, all of the infrastructure improvement that's going to be needed to support them. Copper is going to be um, in high demand. And as we push up here, notice we're getting ready to try and break through some resistance here in this chart. Let's watch that carefully. But FCX definitely moving up in a nice upside trend, showing lots of bullishness. Any rest or pullback in here would set up an opportunity. So keep an eye on that. I think you might also want to be keeping an eye on uh, Merck. Notice that Merck has been resting in this nice, comfortable pattern. If you guys remember, it was just not that long ago where I suggested Merck might be a setup for a trade and it just took off and went on up nicely. Well, notice that we may be setting up here again that same type pattern, that nice little resting consolidation within a trend and holding there on support. So keep an eye on this. Merck has that opportunity. It could pop and go here at any time. Also on that, uh, in that same um, sector, take a look at BMY. BMY, beautiful um, little upside trend here in the chart, breaking through resistance, showing that nice little platform consolidation as we slide out here toward trend. Keep an eye on BMY for that opportunity that may perk up and push on through in that chart. Now, on the other side of the coin, let's take a look at some of these stocks like Visa. Now, Visa is one of those stocks that could go either direction pretty easily. Notice that we broke back down. We pushed up here and we hit this long-term resistance in the chart. So we pushed up and then we broke support doggone it. And as we break that support in here, we're going to want to watch this area in here very closely. This is one of these charts that has that potential that we could go either direction. If we can hold in here, push back up and maybe try to attack that um, big downtrend resistance, that's one side of this. But the other side of it, having broken support and then rallying back, showing that little bit of shakiness right in here, we could certainly continue this downtrend very easily. Easily. So keep an eye on Visa. There is that potential there um, that stocks like that could continue to be short. And if we take a look at stocks like um, Twitter, continuing to move on down in this trend. Now, I think Twitter is a little bit oversold in the short term, and there is that opportunity that, that it could bounce. But watch these downtrends, guys, as we continue to rally back to these downtrends. These are opportunities to maybe take on some short trades in the market. Um, so watch those pretty carefully. Now, also, if we wanna jump back to the bullish side, take a look at anything energy. Oil continues to rally strongly. Tensions over there in the Emirates causing uh, uh, problems um, with that oil supply, possibly. And um, um, we're raising those prices pretty high. And let's also keep in mind that every time we see oil prices go up, we have to expect when um, we get um, the next readings on inflation that those inflation numbers will also be higher as a result so keep a close eye on that um, energy is one place um, um, cvx would be uh, maybe a good choice it's been running hard any rest or pullback would set up an opportunity to the upside so there's a few charts for you to look at today just make sure you have a mix of trades and Boy, I would caution everyone not to over trade or be overly aggressive. Take smaller than normal positions and make sure when those profits come into play, you're grabbing those gains pretty quickly because you know, the next morning we could whipsaw, we could gap the other direction um, with this um, uncertainty that we're seeing in the market. So be very, very careful as you move forward. With that, everyone, I want to wish you all a fantastic day. I want to wish you great results in your trading. We'll see you right back here, bright and early Thursday morning. Have a great day.